Jia Jia's Queendom. So today I want to show you this the staple of our Taiwanese street food. And if it's a staple, it survived the test of time. You know it's gotta be good. And actually it's one of the healthiest choice that you can get when you're eating out on the street. So what is this? It's the blanched vegetables. Okay, I know, I know. When you heard blanched, you say, oh no, it's plain, it's boring, I don't want to, nah, no, I don't need it. If that's the case, you need to hear me out. This dish is the opposite of plain and boring. It's super flavorful. But of course, it's blanched vegetables. How can you make it flavorful? So it depends on the sauce to up your game. So today, my job is to show you how I make this super fast and easy and delicious sauce with just a few simple ingredients. And before we get started, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you, and now let's get started. First, we're going to boil a pot of water and then we're going to add some salt in there. The salt is not to season the water or the veggie. It's just so that the vegetable will stay green. The first vegetable I'm showing you here is the baby spinach. It is very easy to cook, so all you need is about 30 seconds to a minute and you can take it right out. When you're taking the spinach out, make sure you drain the water really well so you don't have the excess water to dilute the sauce that we make later on. The first ingredient is a shallot infused goose fat that I use. I'll talk about this product a little bit later and I'll also teach you how to make your own infused oil in the very end of the video. And then we're gonna add some light soy sauce and some freshly minced garlic. And depends on the soy sauce that you use, you might need a little sugar here. And what I like to do is to cut the spinach shorter, this way it's easier to eat. And now all you need to do is generously drizzle the sauce on the veggie. You can use this sauce for almost any kind of veggies, cabbage or string beans or broccoli. We need the boiled water, but you remember to put some salt in the boiled water to keep the broccoli green. And depends on how crunchy you like it to be, you cook it for a minute to two minutes and then take it out and drizzle the sauce on top of it. There you go, you have your delicious blanched veggie. Since the ingredients are so simple, what makes the sauce so delicious? And the secret is the oil. The oil that they use is different from the oil that we use at home. Those vendors on the street, they render big quantity of pork fat for their everyday use and they infuse it with a lot of herbs and most of the time is the shallots. So with one scoop of that oil, it's packed with flavor. Nowadays, I found that in a lot of restaurants in France or even in the US, the chef started to use duck fat or goose fat to give us that amazing flavor with about just half of the saturated fat. What's even better is that the goose fat that I found is the only goose fat you can find in the US that is infused with this amazing harvest at its peak kind of shallots or garlic. So with just one scoop of this amazing infused goose fat, you can recreate the flavor of the street in Taiwan without the sweat to chop and to peel and to carefully stand by the stove to infuse the herbs to perfection. And you don't have to believe me, you can totally try it for yourself and I'll include the link in the description. I can't say enough how amazing this infused goose fat is and how delicious this blanched vegetable is. You just have to try it for yourself. I hope you like this video and if you do, please remember to like and share and subscribe. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time. To make your own shallot infused oil, you need some shallots. You want to slice them into the same thickness so they cook evenly later. You will also need a drainer and a bowl to separate the fried shallots and the oil later on. And I also prepare a piece of paper towel and a plate so I can put the fried shallots on top of it while it's cooling down and absorb some excess oil. We start with cold oil and then turn the heat on because you want the shallots to have plenty of time to release the good fragrance and the flavor into the oil so you don't want to burn it too soon. But during the process, you do want to stir it all the time constantly. That way you can cook the shallots evenly. And you want to take it out right when it hits golden brown because after you take it out, it's going to continue cooking a little bit more so you don't want to overcook it. 
after you drain out all the oil from the shallots, you put the shallots onto the paper towel that we prepared and make sure you spread them apart so they can cool down evenly. And there you have your fried shallots and your shallot infused oil for your cooking anytime you need it.